Farmers in the area where South Africa is constructing the square kilometre array are unhappy with land losses that comes with hosting the radio telescope. The state has started negotiating with those farmers to purchase land it needs to complete the SKA. Officials from the SKA, uh, SKA rather, held workshops with communities last night on how this will all affect them. The SKA has scientists salivating. It will change the way they observe the universe. But it will also change the lives of the people living in the area. The Department of Science and SKA officials are explaining just how science's biggest showpiece will change the lives of the people. It will limit the use of certain objects that could permanently damage the sensitive dishes. Those living in close proximity to the site will lose cell phone signal. The SKA project is also land hungry and will need almost 118,000 hectares. Farmers will have to sell their land. If the SKA could disappear tomorrow, life would be better for all of us, as well as the economy of our town and area. I understand the advantages for science and technology, but the impact on the environment and the people of the area will be disastrous. The environmental impact studies, as well as the impact on the community, as well as alternative technologies, are only being done now when it should have been done long ago. The willing buyer, willing seller principle will be followed. But the state will expropriate land where negotiations fail. Both ourselves and the farmers have to move towards each other to get to a, um, a common position, common understanding of what really is required and what isn't. Uh, and it's getting over that information gap, ensuring that the farmers understand uh, not just what we need, but also have a clear idea of what is required for the SKA. South Africa's first antennae for the Meerkat radio telescope the precursor to the large-scale SKA project will be ready for service at the end of June. Construction on the SKA will take at least another decade. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Williston.